After a couple years of using the same CPU and motherboard combo in my main PC build, I thought it was time for an upgrade. So I went out and I bought the Ryzen 5 5600X and an MSI B550 board. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the process and the final results of this upgrade. Having previously been rocking the Ryzen 5 1600 with my 3060 Ti, I was noticing quite a bit of bottlenecking and I wasn't getting all the performance that I could. And since I paid for that, I figured it was time for me to finally bite the bullet and move up in the chain of Ryzen. The 5600X with its 6 cores, 12 threads, and 4.7 GHz boost speed is going to offer my GPU enough headroom to perform at its fullest. Now the 5600X isn't really new by any means, it's over a year old, but with prices of hardware finally settling down back to around MSRP, I think AMD is really back on the table as a great option for mid to upper range builds. After taking out the Ryzen 5 1600 and my old B450M motherboard, it's time to install everything else. Before that though, I am going to be doing a bit of cable management so that this looks the best it can possibly look when I'm done with the upgrades. Stuff was starting to get a little ratty in the back and my braided power supply cables weren't looking the best as they were. With that done, it's time to install the 5600X onto the B550M board. This particular board from MSI comes with PCIe Gen 4 as well as two M.2 slots, which means in the future I can upgrade to a really fast drive and my 3060 Ti is gonna be running at maximum performance. With that done, I popped the motherboard in my case, attached my EK AIO to the CPU and fastened everything down and the upgrade is done. I think this CPU, motherboard, and GPU combo is going to be really future-proof because even if I get something higher powered than the 3060 Ti, the 5600X is still going to be able to keep up with some really high-performing GPUs. And the MSI B550 Gaming Plus board I got has some really decent VRMs for overclocking, so I'll be able to really boost and get the most I can out of this 5600X. One more thing I really like about this board is that because this whole build is pretty much black and no RGB, I really wanted kind of a stealth look with this and I didn't want it to draw too much attention. The board actually comes with very subtle RGB lighting accents, which goes great with my also very subtle GPU lighting accents and it just lights up the inside enough so you know what you're working with and when someone comes over or someone sees your PC, they know that you got some quality parts. After booting up the PC and running some benchmarks with gaming, I'm super pleased with how it performed. CPU intensive titles like Minecraft and Valorant have seen a huge performance boost with this upgrade. Like I said previously with the Ryzen 5 1600, those were some titles that it really struggled with. I went from hovering around 150 FPS in Minecraft at 2K max settings to around 400, which is crazy. The story is similar with Valorant and a ton of other games as well. I ran Heaven Benchmark before and after the upgrade, which really puts into perspective how much better graphically my system has become. With the Ryzen 5 1600, I had a score of 4,122 with a max FPS of 346 and an average of 163. However, after installing the 5600X, those boosted a lot. Average FPS went all the way up to 187, the score was all the way up to 4,722, and the max FPS boosted to 375. And that's around a 15% increase, which was what the bottleneck actually was with my 1600. So as we can see, everything is all the way back up to 100%. I have a build video showcase of this rig coming out very soon. So if there was something in this video I didn't go over in regards to this PC, I'll cover it in that video. So definitely stay tuned. Also, it'll It'll give you a more cinematic look at this PC and I'll probably make it look a lot better than it does in this video, but we'll see what happens. And with that, everybody, I think this video is just about wrapped up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to check out any of the products I mentioned in this video, they will be linked in the description down below. If you have any feedback for me at all, leave that in the comment section. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I am Nate with another hardwired review video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.